Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. This video will illustrate in a professional way the use of the math and trig function called sum ifs. The first thing we're going to do is to convert the data set to a table, as I see here. Then we're going to name the cells in each column, and the cells have been named, for example, animal and if I drag down through the date of birth cells they've been named DOB and finally the number of the animals I've named number of. The next step is to go to the formulas tab look in the math and trig functions and then we scroll down to some ifs and when I click some ifs that opens up in the right hand panel the formula builder. This makes the use of sum ifs very very easy because what it will allow us to do is to find the black cats we want to disregard all of the other coloured animals we only want the black cats and we want to find the black cats that were born between two dates and it is important when entering formula dates, as you'll see here, to use the month, month, day, day, year format as Excel is set to US date format in the formulas in this particular example uh, and the date of birth column data, as we shall see. Now I've completed the formula builder for the sum ifs over here as you'll see. The first thing I had to do was to use the name of the numbers of animals, so I used number of. Then I said the criteria range 1 are the animals, so I used the name animal that I showed you earlier. And the criteria was black cat. Uh, Excel surrounds that criteria with double quotes. Now the important part is the date of birth because what I want to do is use the first date of birth the name DOB as again you'll recall and I say the first date of birth is greater than August the 7th 2022 as I see down here. The second date of birth is the less than December the 8th, 22. And when I click done, it shows me the number of black cats that were born between those two dates. So now I see that the only black cats that were born between those two dates are the four black cats down here. Any other black cats were born outside of those particular dates, either before August the 7th or after December the 8th. An explanation of how the dates worked for me. If I go to the Home tab and then scroll down through the dates of birth, and then I go to the date uh, format and I go down to more number formats and I then scroll down to the way I wanted the dates to appear and I said that is on a location of English in the United States. That is why we use the month, day, year type because that's the way the United States show it. So hopefully that will explain to you a little more about the use of dates because many people have a problem with the uh, date result coming up with a zero or the result coming up as a zero. 
So I'll now click OK for that. Let's explain that for you and hopefully it will very much be a help because as I said earlier the main reason people have problems with getting their right answers as be, uh, because of the uh, date format. Notice also that as soon as I clicked done after completing the function arguments that Excel immediately put here in the formula bar the actual formula itself. So you can always check it there. Obviously as we can all see I've used a simple set of data for explaining how SUMIFS works. However, what we can do is to use as large a file as we wish. For example, here is a very large file that goes down well over 2,000 rows and goes across some 12 to 14 columns. But the same principles apply as in that simple set of data that we use for the black cats. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to present this particular video for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and we love likes and comments. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.